There we yeah. go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Hook Up Hints with Scott and Mick. Today, we're going to be chatting about stray lining. Undoubtedly, Mick, one of our favourite forms of targeting the biggest snapper. Bang on, mate. Yeah, it's really exciting and um, pretty active way of fishing for some really big snaps. That's it. So, we're going to chat to you guys today briefly about the baits we like to use, the rigs, combos, and the areas to find these biggest snapper. First off, Mick, areas. Of course, areas, yep. We love our shallow water stray lining, so that's sort of 20 or 30 metres and, and, and shallower. So fishing back to sort of rocky headlands or underwater rocks and um, yeah, can, can produce some really big fish. Yeah, so two of the things you're gonna need for that is, is a good bit of current and burley, we find. Like those yep. are the two key ingredients to getting a good straight line session going and ideally your burley going the, the same way as what your, uh, what your wind's going. So your boat's sitting in a way that your current flows out the back, burley flows with it, brings all those fish around and uh, that's how you have a dynamite straight line session. And now, you gotta get your rigs in the water. So what do we do, Mick? Yep, so our rig, nice and simple, we like to run with uh, KLT hooks. So these KLT hooks are non-offset recurve hooks. So the recurve hooks are awesome because they just hook the fish in the corner of the mouth. It allows you to release a nice big snapper. You get a good fight out of them. And um, they're also really, really strong as well. That's rigged up with a 60 pound fluorocarbon or 60 pound supple trace we like to use for those. Well, either of those two. And uh, yep. big bait. That's the key thing we find with uh, targeting the biggest snapper. Bait, and then that's, that's a medium sized bait. I would just call that a medium sized bait. You can yep. get a lot bigger than that if you need to. And definitely fresh is best, you know, yep. like your, your stuff out of the bait freezer will do the job, but um, generally we'll just use that until we can get a nice big kawai or find some, some nice fresh baits like the yep. um, kohiru mackerel, jack yep. mackerel and barracuda also works really well. It does, so this is a pretty simple way of rigging this up. That's how I've liked to do, done it over the years. Pretty simple, like just gonna go through both of the uh, lips there, out through the top, and it sits there like that. And that's all I do with that. I'm using one hook, and uh, that's just gonna float nicely. The idea with stray lining is you're targeting the biggest snapper, so that needs to look as presentable and as natural as possible. So that's gotta float down. It's not gonna sink to the bottom and just sit there. It's floating down nice and slowly. With your burley, the biggest snapper out the back, we'll see that, and won't be able to resist it, hopefully, and she'll be all on. And you can, you can use sinkers if you need to when it comes, if you've got too much current, but ideally you're wanting to go with least amount of weight as possible. Generally you can try without first. And, yep, um, start with nothing there. and then work your way back from there, but only small increments of weight just so it still descends slowly. So that's that end. So we're gonna come back here, back up to a swivel, and then uh, obviously onto our main line, which in this case is 15 kilo. Don't really like to go anything less because we do like to have the ability to be able to skull drag the fish out if we need to and which is applicable for this particular rod here, which is called the Skull Dragger. The old good old Skull Dragger. Yep, and, and then that's back onto a bait feeder style reel. Very simple way of stray lining. Cast that out the back. Nice big cast we find, eh, Mick? Yep, nice big cast. The big fish are predating out away from the boat. So um, you can let it down by the boat and you'll get a few peckers and a few smaller fish, but if you do want to target a bigger snapper, give it a nice big cast. Big cast out the back, and then you're just fishing into that. This little lever on the back, flick that, it disengages this front main drag here and you're just back into this mode here. So let that out until you think you're close enough in the strike zone, then get ready. You might get a few pickers, you just ignore those, and you're waiting for that nice, big, consistent run. Something like that, that's a nice run. It's gonna give that a couple of seconds and I'm gonna flick that. It's gonna hold on. That's just gonna load up. So what that's doing, that recurve hook, that's rolling into the corner of the fish's mouth, and we're on, and it's a good one too. Well, yeah. a good size fish. Jeez, Mick. Taking all sorts of lines. Yeah. So that's a very simple way of, of um, stray lining, and it's probably the most effective way of doing it, that combo there. Cortez, very similar. Doesn't have the bait feeder option, so you've sort of, you leave it in free spool, let the fish take some line, and the same, flick it into gear, lift, fish is hooked. So if you're into your overhead, yeah, that's a good way of doing it, but yep. yeah. Uh, personal preference, really. Uh, yep. Otherwise, you can sometimes run too. Chuck that one on the rod holder, into the, into the bait feeder mode, and then fish your overhead as well. Hang on, because there's, um, Cortez does also cast very well, so if you're worried about it casting and birds nesting on you, the Cortez generally does a pretty good job of casting without birds nesting, which is quite helpful. Yeah, you do like that rod, don't you? Oh, I love it. Caught some good fish on it. But anyway, that, that's the basics. A few of our tips that we've found have worked really well for us for stray lining. Fresh baits, plenty of current, plenty of burley, the right terminal tackle, the right combos. Yep, cast your baits out away from the boat. That's where the big snapper are. You'll catch those big boys. See you next time. That's all! <laughs>
That's oh, what we're Oh, yes. For. Get him in the net. Oh, look at that. Yeah, good. Second Fish. bait. Second bait. That's a beast. Second <laughs> bait. <laughs> and then, the net's got to break. Get it on there. Get it on there. Oh, I should have gone for the bigger net. Oh, yes. <laughs>